is the best place you can figure out for me to meet you. Well, I got so, like five minutes here. I know. Well, it's a little off the beaten path. Thought it'd be private. We could discuss things. Nonetheless, I thank you for coming. I don't know why I did. I told you I don't know where he's at. You ain't heard from him? No, I ain't. Nothing. Not word one. Did you tell me if you had? Well, I don't know. He don't need any trouble from you. And it ain't me he's having trouble with. Well, who's he having trouble with? Some very bad people. Llewellyn could take care of himself. These people will kill him, Carla Jean. They won't quit. Well, he won't neither. He never has. I wish I could say that that's in his favor, but I have to say I don't think it is. He could take all comers. <laughs> you remember Charlie Walzer has that place up there east of Sanderson? You know how they used to slaughter the beeves, hit them right here with a maul and stun them, then truss them up, slit their throats? Well, well, Charlie had one all trussed up, ready to drain him, and the damn beeve comes too. <laughs> Starts thrashing around. 600 pounds of very pissed off livestock, if you know what I mean. So, Charlie goes over there to get his gun to shoot the damn thing in the head. But what with all the swinging and twisting, it's a glance shot. So it ricochets around, comes back, and hits old Charlie in the shoulder. You go see Charlie, to this day, he can't use his right arm to put on his hat. So, point being, even in a contest between man and cow, the outcome is uncertain. So, you see Llewellyn? You have him call me. I can keep him safe. Of course, they slaughtered the bees different now. They use an air gun. Fire a rod right into the back of its brain. Suck it right back out. Why the hell are you tell me all this, Sheriff? I don't know. My mind wanders. <laughs>